Hello, and thank you for joining us at XM.com for this Forex preview video. I'm Cristina Marujos. Joining me today is investment analyst Mario Sechikiriakos. We'll be looking at the Reserve Bank of New Zealand policy meeting coming up this week. So we saw the RBNZ cut rates at its latest policy meeting back in May. It was one of the first major central banks to do so. Would we be expecting another rate cut at this policy meeting? I'd say the chances of another rate cut right now are pretty slim. Well, for example, the Airbnb has already, already cut at its previous meeting. The economic data since then have been relatively soft, but you know, not really horrible. So there's not a real rush for the Airbnb to cut rates twice at two consecutive meetings. I think they, they can bite their time and examine some more incoming data before acting. Now, the question is, what kind of signals do they send about the August meeting? So are we really worried and are there you know, high chances of a rate cut then, or are we just in a wait and see mode and, you know, we'll cross that path, or that river when we get there. So what exactly does that mean in terms of the market reaction for the Kiwi? Well, I'd say, I'd say that the Airbnb has a lot more motivation to sound dovish at this meeting. So the economy is fine, but unless we see some drastic improvement over the coming weeks, for example, then more monetary, more stimulus may be needed. The market effect of, of that would probably be a weaker Kiwi, but I don't think that any negative reaction will be massive because markets have already priced in an August rate cut by 85%, by an 85% probability. So it's more or less expected. So some downside, but I wouldn't expect anything massive there. I see. Now, looking beyond the RBNZ meeting, we are expecting President Trump and President Xi to meet in the sidelines of the G20 summit uh, later this week on Friday. Uh, in hopes to uh, restart the trade talks, if you like. So are we expecting that meeting to affect the Kiwi? And if so, how? I'd say that it has the potential to really affect the Kiwi. So uh, the two presidents haven't met in a while, maybe six months now, and the whole market is waiting for signals that you know the negotiations will restart pretty soon. This is quite important for New Zealand because First of all, it's an, it's an export-oriented economy, so the trade outlook matters a lot for that. But also, if we see some optimistic tones at the G20, then maybe the RPNZ itself becomes a little more reluctant to cut rates further. You know, the whole trade outlook improves. So I think there are upside risks surrounding the QE from that meeting. So we may see a negative reaction on the RPNZ on Wednesday, but then if the two presidents come on Friday and send optimistic signals that will resume sincere negotiations and so on, that could you know, help erase any negative reaction we see on the RBNZ earlier in the week. I see. Maria, thank you for joining me today, and thank you for watching us here at XM.com.